Okay. New project. Picked this up at um, the last trip to an antiques uh, show. Let's see, where was this one? Uh, this one was in, uh, we were in Fredericksburg, I believe. And um, I picked up a, uh, a an old Aladdin blue flame heater, which was really pretty cool. And this was sitting on the table next to it. And he basically, I wasn't so sure about it because you know, it's in, it's, it's got some good usable parts on here, but I'm not so sure about the fountain. Um, so I also know that with this one being one of the, the quick lights like this, uh, I'm I'm actually really wanting to make this into a um, into a table lamp or a floor lamp. So I've uh, seen some guys where they've been basically replacing this section here with a, a long piece of tubing and uh, making it into a floor lamp, which is really cool. And uh, since it was ten bucks, I couldn't resist. Um, Something just went bleep. I don't know what it is, but don't worry about it. Um, there is uh, not really any markings on the bottom here. It does look like it's probably fine. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, pressure test it a little bit here and, and see how that works. Kind of the idea here is just to see if we can kind of get it working. And then the, the next step will be turning this into a floor lamp. But, um, you know, looking at this and looking at the nickel on it, I'm actually, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cheat forward here just a little bit because uh, the nickel looks to be actually really nice. So we're going to go give this a little quick polish and take a look and to see how good this might actually uh, turn out. So it's actually been a long time since you guys have seen me doing any kind of polishing. So, uh, for those of you who don't know the magic uh, weapon here is the quadruple aught steel wool and then mother's mag and aluminum polish because there's no shine like mother's <laughs> okay yeah i'm hilarious but uh, this actually works really really well it doesn't take a whole lot of effort and you get really nice results so we're going to go ahead and just kind of do this area right here live on camera and uh, see how well this comes up. You know, probably what I would normally do would be to uh, kind of wash some of the crud off here first, but since we're just kind of jumping in and we're gonna actually get to like seeing if we can get a, a, a bit of a pressure test on this, we're just gonna go ahead and do this. Um, let's see, do I have anything worth wiping with here? Probably. Gonna use this. Just kind of polish that off a little bit. And will you look at that? <laughs> I mean, would you ever expect it would come up really quite that nicely? I mean, that looks really good. So, uh, and you can see it doesn't take very much time at all. So, yeah, so that'll be great if the uh, if the fountain holds pressure. So, first thing we got to do on this is kind of like what we do every time is, of course, the gasket on this is shot. It's... Uh, all hardened up and uh, we need to get that out of there and I don't think it's gonna come out easy uh, let's see what's gonna yeah that is well you know what it may actually oh is it missing oh no I think that's a lead washer that does look like a lead washer huh okay well it may be a lead washer uh, which would be probably period appropriate but um what we're going to do is that we're going to go ahead and uh since there's is actually quite a bit of uh gasket that's just flat not there we're going to go ahead and uh throw one of these um rubber ones on top of it and see how that works because these are all pretty much the same size and it should just fit right into the slot which it looks like it does so we'll give this a a test run to see if this will seal which feels like it does. Hey, it's never been faster, right? Normally I wouldn't stack washers, but since one is lead, you don't really have a problem with that. It's kind of like still like a metal on metal. Um, let's see if we can get any air to go through uh, this. Very little, which you would kind of hope there'd be more than that. 
So this seems like it's a little bit clogged. Hmm. Right? Let's see if we can stick something down in here and see if there's anything to clean out. Oh yeah. Phew. Well, that uh, whatever was in there is now not. That flows through there quite nicely. Okay, great. So, um, and then let's see if we can get air to go through here. This thing was looks like it had been sitting outside, so I'm pretty sure that there was like either mud or dirt or dust or something like that. No, nope, that doesn't want to move, so I'm wondering if we've got a stuck check valve. Because the little the check valve is in the is in the lid here. And uh got some shop hair here we can try. Doesn't really seem to want to do a whole lot of anything. Hmm. Let's see if we do this. And uh, I do have, I mean, this is obviously a shop air, but I've got the regulator set to like 30 PSI. Yeah, it doesn't want to have any air go through it whatsoever. Okay, so um, probably what needs to happen is that we need to figure out why this. Uh, is not letting any air through it. So I think what this needs is probably a little bit of trip in the ultrasonic cleaner. So we're gonna throw this in there and we're gonna let it do that. And since that is nothing that anyone wants to see, we're just gonna drop it in there, fire it up, and then we will uh, be back when it is done. Okay. So um, it's been in there for a couple of minutes. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look to see how this, uh, if this is kind of freed up a little bit. Oh, I hear, I hear the sounds of success. So let's see, can we blow through it? Yes, we can. All right, so that's good. Get that uh, unstuck. Yeah, the ultrasonic cleaners are really, really super handy for this kind of stuff because uh, that way you get that vibration that's down in there that will that will get that stuff loosened up. So let's try with the shop air here. That doesn't seem to want to do a whole lot. Let's see what we got here. There it goes. Just didn't have it uh, screwed out enough. Yep, so that is... Uh, blowing nicely and of course like I said it's oh no I've got this fan on now this is not gonna work is it okay that was probably very very windy <laughs> sorry um, so this is not really very high pressure like I said it's about about 30 psi so um, I'm doing that because I'm gonna totally cheat and I'm not going to pump this up I'm just gonna pressurize it with the with the air gun because it's got a rubber tip, which will fit right in here. And then we can do that. Um, I checked the knobs when I got it and it works, right? So that's good. So let's put some air in it and see what happens. Okay, so heard a little bit of air coming out of the check valve, which is not abnormal. See if we get any air comes out here. Oh, it made a little bit of noise. And okay, that's holding pressure for the very brief time that we had it. So let's um, go ahead and put some more air in here. That seems to be about full. Everything is screwed down nice and tight. What I really need is some soapy water because I want to put a little bit of that on the bottom of this. Actually, I want to put soapy water on everything. Uh, I don't really have a bucket here. Uh, let's see, I do have some spick and span spray, so maybe that'll 
qualify a soapy water. Or maybe I'll just go ahead and put some uh, soap in this. Let's do that. And then we'll just kind of look at the uh, the bottom of the fount and um, see if it uh, if it bubbles up or not. So um, yeah, we can put soapy water all over this thing because if my if my bench gets a little clean, that's fine, right? So we're just going to kind of get the water all over it. I realize I really should do a dunk on this, but the um, yeah, everything looks pretty good because that soapy water would show would bubble up immediately. Um, we're going to put some here on the bottom of this. See if we get any bubbles, which does not look like we are. Looking really closely around the, the edge and the rim there. I'm not really seeing anything. So it uh, looks like we've got a um, a Reasonably good fount and I got water all over the floor now All right Kind of mop this up here a little bit And uh, it actually did make some noise out of this, and of course I've got everything all wet now. That's not really what I wanted to do. So we'll mop this down just a little bit. Because um, if I can get this thing to light up, that would be great. So, see if it's going to... The, uh, the valve cleaner stem didn't really want to move very much. Um, normally I'd apply some heat on that, but I've got unburned mantles here, so I guess I'm going to kind of tuck those up. These are like original Coleman mantles, so I'm going to see if I can't tuck those up here out of the way a little bit. Then we're going to apply a little bit of heat to the, um, the tip cleaner. It looks like it's taken a little bit of a hit, so we'll see what happens. I don't want to heat these too much. So cherry red, obviously not what we're aiming for. But uh, we do want to get some heat into it. Because the deal is if you get it too hot, you can damage the graphite inside. So you don't want to do that. So let's see if this has given us any, any joy. Oh yeah. It moves, it's quite hot. Let's see if it moves all the way around. Feels like it's got a little bit of a lope to it, but it is moving. Let's see if we get any luck with the generator. Oh yeah. Yep, it's trying to work. So, um, hmm, so what do I do? Should I take these old mantles off? Uh, they're kind of, yeah, they're pretty worn. So uh, we'll probably just burn them because they've got holes in them and stuff like that. So they're not gonna they're not gonna last. So I think what we can do is um, dump the pressure here. See if I can get any of this um, rust and stuff out of here because it's really got quite a bit in here. There's still a lot in there. There's like even looks to be like some paper that came out. That's kind of weird. So, um, yeah, this is a lot of stuff. Kind of reminds me of the uh, <clears throat> the 242 uh, fount that we had that uh, had a lot of rust and chunks coming out of it. Wow. Okay. And see, like these, they've got a little bit of a, a collar in them. You can probably see now because, you know, this is where the, the valve actually 
the valve actually screws into it so the 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 check valve itself is threaded so that kind of prevents it from coming down and then if you i don't know if you can see further in there but there actually is a collar that even extends past that so you basically kind of have to uh shake it until you hope that one of those pieces actually hits the hole basically nothing but net like basketball but um yeah so you can be sitting here for quite a while Phew. Wow, that's quite the pile. Um, but I think since right now the goal here is just to kind of get it lit up, I don't know how much more effort I'm going to put into this. So um, let's set that down here. And uh, I'm going to sweep all this off into the trash, which is a, uh, a significant pile here. You probably don't notice it until like I kind of sweep it all together as to how much actually came out. So this one would probably be a good candidate for some, uh, uh, a bunch of BBs put in there and rattled around to get it to come out. But uh, yeah, there's quite a bit in there. And um, so most of it looks like paper or grass or something. Anyway, I'm gonna call that good. And uh, then we're gonna go ahead and see if we can't put some uh, fuel in it. So, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the uh, the lantern that we had, well, not lantern, but stove, that we had the other week. And we're gonna steal the fuel out of it. And then we're going to um, use that to light this. Oh yeah, that looks really good, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, this is probably another one of those ones where probably wouldn't have been a bad idea to try to uh, flush this out. <laughs> yeah, that is some uh, funky color right there. It's not really rust. I think that's actually dissolved varnish. And you're probably thinking, Mike, are you gonna actually put that in that lantern? Well, yep, because <laughs> it still smells fun. And honestly, what's in there right now isn't really any worse than uh, what's in here with all the rust that we just dumped out of there. So we'll just use it to light it and see how it goes. And then um, we'll dump it out afterwards. So we'll basically use this as a way to kind of rinse the tank. So, um, so yeah, all right, not going to really worry too much about, um, filtering that, just going to let her rip right in there. And blurp, blurp, it's done. So that was about... 200 milliliters worth of fuel goes in there. I hope that's uh, enough to wet its whistle. We'll uh, take a look here on the bottom to make sure that we don't see any uh, fuel coming through, but I don't think we will. It's already a little bit wet from the water, so we got that. Take our, uh, our cheater here and um, put some air in it. Yeah, it doesn't take any time at all to get her up to pressure. That's great. Um, so I think what I need to do now um, is that I need to burn these mantles off. And um, yeah, because these things are wrecked anyway, so there's no real point trying to save them. So. kinds of holes in them. Those things have been on there for years. Yeah. 
And the other thing too is since this is a, uh, a quick light, we're going to need to preheat the generator. So we might as well do that a little bit. Let's see what happens. We get any fuel coming out. Oh yeah, that's kind of hot. Well, she made fuel noises before, but I bet right now what we've done is we managed to suck up a bunch of junk into it. But um, let's see, we'll keep going. Um, it seemed that the, the tip cleaner was working. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, the problem with this is preheating it and uh, trying to use the tip cleaner are like kind of uh, painful experiences. <laughs> so we'll do this and just keep spinning. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'll need to get a new, uh, a new generator for this for sure. I've seen them on old Coleman parts, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, we're not having a lot of luck here, ladies and gentlemen, because uh, there's probably an awful lot of junk that's in here. So um, let's try, see if we got any luck getting this, uh, this generator off of here. This may be frozen up. Oh, well, she's moving. So that's good. Okay, that's good. It's a nice thing about even when you have steel parts and brass, um, brass will always kind of give up and let you get things out. So I'm going to do like a bit of an extreme measure here in that I'm going to. Um, yeah, we got fuel. Um, yep, lots of, lots of rusty, rustiness. I think. Oh, uh, let's see. What's the best way to do this? What I want to do is I want to like get some fuel to push through and push all this junk out, and I want to find a way to capture it so I don't end up making myself a lot, rather large uh, fireball. So I guess we'll just kind of use this. Oh yeah. That was a lot that came out. Now it's coming out quite nicely. Okay, so that's good. Let's see what happens when we blow on this. Uh, that's the up position. Okay, it's flowing through. So I'm gonna go ahead and maybe blow out a little bit more fuel here. Yep, that seems to be really wanting to go. So I'm betting we might have some luck because the generator actually does seem to be working. It's uh, I can blow air through it, so that's a good sign. Um, there was a bit of junk that came out, so that's a good sign. Let's uh, get this snug down a bit. That's good. Do this. Preheat. Oh, it tried. Don't want that to burn down there. Let's see, keep going, baby. Not a lot of fuel flow, huh? Something kind of sorta. Come on, make me proud. <laughs> yeah, I think we've got um, a significant amount of junk in the um, in the tube. It's seeming like it's kind of wanting to um, go, but 
not very much. So yeah, definitely we've got an obstruction in this. So um, this is probably as far as we're going to take this one for this particular episode. Um, so we went through and, you know, holds air, knocked out a bunch of junk, put some really questionable fuel in it, and kind of kind of almost got it going. But um, yeah, I'm just not hearing as much coming out of there as I should. So uh, okay, look, we'll do one. We'll do one last try of um, of uh, taking the the generator back out, and then um, see if we don't have other fuel that or a blockage that we slurped up into here. Oh, that's uh, quite solid fuel flow that's coming out. Blew through this. Yeah, that feels like it's uh, plugged. So I'm going to try a little bit of reverse flow with this on here. See if we can see the um, the cleaning needle come out. We should be able to because it does appear that it was working. So we're going to take a quick look at that to see if it does show up. Yeah, I can feel it. So it's definitely there. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, remove this tip. And it just amazes me. You know, it's been how many years and uh, this stuff all comes off just as easily as you'd want it to. So set this here, set that there. There is the needle. Hopefully not gonna launch this across the shop. Um, we're just gonna hold over this way, but I wanna Yeah, there's very little flow through the uh, through the generator here. Um, I don't know if this top piece comes off. It almost looks like it does. Let's see. Does this have a any flats on it that I can grip on? Kinda. No. Um, yeah. So this is uh, the. Uh, the generator is plugged and it does not want to get unplugged. So I don't want to damage the the tip on here. So I'm going to because the needle is sticking out. So I'm going to try doing this. And see if that doesn't Yeah, there is so little airflow through here. This should be like a, uh, almost like a, a, an open tube going through. So I think the generator is the, is the problem. It doesn't, it does not want to, uh, does not want to let anything flow through it. So we're not going to go ahead and struggle with this anymore. We're going to go ahead and assemble this back. I'm going to get a generator on order, but at least now I know that I can proceed with the next step of this, which would be to uh, make this into a floor, floor lamp. So I um, can just get this back in there. There we go. Anyway, so yeah, that's the story. Um, it'll be interesting to see how we do the floor lamp thing. It's been uh, been all the rage on uh, on the Coleman Collectors Forum lately, and. Uh, yeah, so that's that. So I'm going to dump the pressure off of this. And then uh, we'll see you the next time around with the next installment. So until then, keep them lit.